In this video, screen set editing number three, we're going to add a manual data input box so that we can enter G code manually from the program run screen. And since I use both inch and millimeter units, I'm adding a units box for a quick reference. Included is another version of this box if you want it. That brings us to the images used in today's video. Link in description. Select the images you want, copy, and paste them into your mill bitmaps folder. Control V. Back in the Mach 3 folder, I'm going to copy and paste my edit 2 from the last video and rename it edit 3. And double click to edit. OK, the MDI box. Let's make some room here. Let's add our image. Now, as you can see here, our image is under the page background. We need to swap layers. To do that, with it still selected, press the control key and select the background image. Right click and select swap layer and click swap. Now we can select it and move it where we want. Now to add the MDI. First, I visually set the left where I think it goes, then the top. The width and height are referenced from the top left of the object. Get the width close with the mouse, then the height. In the position area, we can fine tune till we're happy. And I will have these position numbers included in the images download. Now for the units box. All right, let's go ahead and add it. And again, we need to swap layers. This time, after you control click the background image, if the scroll wheel on your mouse is a button, press it and you will automatically be taken to the swap screen, then swap. Just a heads up here, and I'm going to save this real quick. Okay, it's not a good idea to undo control Z a swap. It removes the background image. It's not that big a deal, but rather annoying. Save often as you get things done. Okay, moving on. Let's get this unit box into position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a temporary button on here. It's going to help us out soon. I'm calling it reload, giving it a code 34 for basic script. and programming it with the function load standard layout, open and close parentheses. Again, I'm going to save it. All right, moving over to Mach 3, let's load our edit 3 set. It's important now to keep Mach 3 open until later, since our screen set is open here, and in mock screen. All right, looks good so far. Back over to mock screen. I'm gonna go ahead and make the units box and the background non-selectable. Let's head over to page six. I'm gonna make this background image non-selectable so that we can grab the labels and LEDs all at once. Control C to copy. 
back to page one and control V to paste. Of the four selected objects that we just pasted, move your mouse towards the primary object, the millimeter LED in this case. Once you see the move symbol, click and drag. All right, select the text labels individually and edit their text as you see fit. I personally want to use uppercase letters here. Move the label into position. We can see here that the text needs to be smaller. Let's take off some height and see how that looks. Now, select the other label and experiment with height and positioning. Oh, and the menu alignment options can also be found by right clicking. Save and head over to Mach 3. Click our reload button. See what it looks like and what adjustments need to be made. And head back over to mock screen and go to work. Now for the LEDs, I'm going to move one of them into position and cut the height in half. Looks like that'll fit. Make them the same size and work it. Okay, let's save it, head over to Mach 3, and reload. Take a look-see, <laughs> and make adjustments if needed. Okay, save, and Mach 3, reload and check. Looks good here. Now, I want to put this setup on another screen. First, I have to make the units box selectable again. Right click, make single element selectable, and double click the item to remove it from the list. Click and drag to surround everything we want to select, and Control C to copy. Head to page 7, which is where I want to put it, and control V to paste. We do have to swap layers, so first deselect everything, select the units image, and control click the background using the mouse center button if you have it, and click swap. And boom, we're good. Back to page 1. I think I'll use the other units image for this screen. First, we have to make the background selectable again. Then select the units box. And delete. Then load our other image. Do the swap, and move it into place. That looks good. Now we can select and delete our temporary button. Save and exit. In Mach 3, we do our last reload. And see what it looks like on the offsets screen. Looks pretty good. Let's head on over to my CNC's computer. The screens look a little different, but the MDI works the same. You can use your mouse to activate and deactivate the MDI, or as long as there's no DRO selected, you can use the Enter key to activate and deactivate the MDI. After you type a block of G code, Press enter and it will run immediately. 
Okay, I'm going to set work zero for X and Y. Regenerate the toolpath. Then bring it back to machine home with G28. If you have a backlog of MDI commands, you can use the up and down arrow keys to select it. Press enter and it will run again. Just be aware of what you're telling the machine to do. Be careful. Have your safeties in place and think ahead of your G-code. That's my tip for today. <laughs>